So uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Tien Thich Nguyen. I am a researcher at the Eurocom and I am a responsible for 5G core network uh, de uh, development at Eurocom and uh, Open Interface uh, Software Alliance. So uh, I'm very happy to be here today to present the, the Open Interface 5G core network. So first of all, I would like to thank Sylvia, Marcia and Mark to give us this wonderful opportunity to present OEI to OSM community. And I hope that both OSM and OEI community can benefit from uh, this collaboration. Uh, so in this uh, presentation, we would like to give a very quick introduction to our OEI 5G core uh, implementation, um, the roadmap of the project and have an uh, overview of the all uh, components. And then in the next presentation, our college Saga we go into detail about the different deployment scenario for the uh, OAI core network. So first, uh, a very quick uh, introduction to open interface. So OAI is a, a flexible platform to enable an open 4G and 5G ecosystem. The platform offers an open source software based implementation of a subset of 4G and 5G system spanning the full protocol stack of 3GPP standard in both RAN and core network uh, segment. Uh, for example, for RAN part, uh, we have uh, OEI E node B for 4G, uh, G node B for 5G, and also uh, simulated EV. We also have uh, an, uh, 4G EPC with then uh, updated to support a 5G non standalone mode, and finally, uh, 5G core in uh, standalone mode. And then uh, to facilitate the open interface adoption, the OAI Software Allen uh, has been uh, launched in uh, 2014 by Eurocom. Uh, the objectives were threefold. Uh, first is to promote the OAI and its open source uh, licensing model, then to support the community of the developer and user, and also to accept a donation uh, to maintain engineering support team. So uh, currently, uh, OSI have uh, eight uh, strategic members, uh, such as uh, Fujitsu, Quancom, uh, Facebook, Connectivity, just name a few, and a lot of uh, associate uh, members. Uh, so um, OAI 5G Core Network project is uh, one of the four main projects under uh, OSI umbrella, together with RAN, the ICD, and Mosaic 5G. So our objective is to develop a fully 3CPP compatible 5G core network stack at an open source software for OAI community. And OAI 5G core network is under OAI public license version 1.1 and open for anyone who signed the license agreement to, to contribute. And as one of the main projects under OSI umbrella, the main sponsor are Quancom, Facebook Connectivity, and, and Intel Digital. And the main contribution until now come from Eurocom, BBT, among the others. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, before going to into more detail about the OEI 5G core network, uh, let's take a quick look on the new 5G system architecture. Uh, for some of you who are not familiar with the 5G core network, the new 5G system is relying on the service-based architecture, which is designed for cloud-native deployment. So the goal is to migrate from the telecom-style protocol interfaces to web-based APIs. So in brief, um, 5G core network is defined as a set of interconnected network functions with author, uh, authorization to access each other services. For example, SMF provides PDU section services to AMF to establish uh, a data session for uh, 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 UE. Uh, this is one of the main differences between uh, 4G and 5G core network. Uh, so the second major difference is concerning the structure of the network components. As you can see here, uh, the evolution from the traditional EPC to the uh, control and user plane separation architecture, and then to the 5G architecture. Uh, the figure on the right uh, shows the mapping between 4G and 5G components and gives the idea of the functionality of 5G compo components. 
uh, for example, the functionality of IMF is similar to that uh, of the mobility measurement uh, function from the MME. Uh, SMF uh, performs the section management, management function uh, that are handled by MME and the control plane part of the SP gateway. And besides, uh, several new entities are introduced to uh, support uh, service-based architecture such as uh, NRF for service reg registration and discovery and uh, an SSF for network sizing. Uh, so uh, now uh, for uh, uh, OEI 5G core network, uh, I would say that um, we, we had uh, now a solid and functional 5G core with uh, several components, which are in blue in this figure, such as uh, uh, AMF, SMF, UPF, NRF, AUF, UDM, and UDR. Uh, OEI 5G core support uh, basic procedure for connection registration and section management uh, so that uh, multiple EVs can attach to the network and establish multiple PDO section at the same time. Uh, also with the NIF, uh, we support some original features such as NF registration and discovery. Uh, for example, we can deploy multiple SMF, then the AMF can discover and select an appropriate SMF based on several parameters, such as network slide information uh, and data network name. And uh, together with the FPDN features, net, uh, we can provide a cloud native deployment with either Docker Compose or Hamchat, which uh, facilitate the adoption of uh, OEI in the community. Uh, and uh, our college uh, Saga, we, we explain in more detail about that in the, in the next presentation. And I think that uh, is, uh, would be one of the most interesting parts for the OSM community. And go back to the functionality. Uh, uh, also, we supported N2 handover uh, paging and uh, HTTP uh, version 2. Uh, for the, um, uh, for the um, uh, deployment, we have two different options to deploy uh, OEI 5G core. The simple one is to use only AMF, SMF, NIF, and UPF. Uh, the second option use uh, three more network functions, uh, UDM, AUSF, and UDR for, for instance, many for use, uh, UE authentication procedures. Uh, uh, for, uh, however, in this uh, hackfest, we use uh, the first deployment option for a sake of uh, simplicity. Uh, regarding the user plane, for now, we have uh, three different flavors uh, for UPF. The first one is SP Gateway U from 4G Core Network. Uh, we then added several original features to support 5G, such as a GTP extension header to convey QFI information. The second one is relying on VPP developing with a DPDK support to achieve a better performance. Uh, for the moment, we can uh, get uh, up to 600 megabit per second throughput in uplink and downlink in a Docker container deployment and can achieve up to 2.5 gigabit per second in a bar meter setup. And finally, we, uh, we have a production get UPF from uh, Kalum. Uh, it's uh, very important to, to mention that. Uh, uh, here that uh, to guarantee the quality of uh, our implementation, all the implemented uh, procedures have been validated with a professional tester from uh, uh, developing solution in our CI and CD framework. Uh, for the moment, we focus on functional stability and reliability test. And uh, the strategy is uh, to both test each component separately using bracket test and test all the components together in an integration test. And more interestingly, uh, we also validated our 5G core with OEI G Node B with both OEI UE and Coast UE. Uh, so we are very proud to say that we can provide end-to-end uh, -end 5G standalone solution for both run and core. And I'm sure that all the team uh, can deploy and enjoy OEI end-to-end -end network by using OSM at the end of this uh, hackfest.
so besides, we also validated uh, OEI 5G core with uh, several commercial GNOME B and Coast UE and uh, with some open source RAM uh, simulator as well. Uh, for the for the deployment, we also provide different possibility to deploy our core network, ranging from a traditional approach to a cloud native one. For example, we provide a cloud friendly deployment solution based on Docker Compose. At the same time, we also deployed our 5G core network uh, uh, in Aerocom OpenShift cluster with the ham chat. Uh, again, our college uh, saga, we talk about uh, Docker Compose and ham chat in the uh, in, uh, in the next presentation. And uh, now go for, uh, for the roadmap. Um, our plan is to implement a full 3GPP compliant 5G core with a rich feature set. Uh, so going into more detail, um, we are working on some uh, item to prepare for the September release. Uh, for example, to uh, provide stand, standard API to external application to collect information from the core network function by, ex uh, by uh, even exposure for some uh, network functions such as IMF, SFF, and, and UDM. And the idea is to provide the possibility to monitor the user's statistic information and configure 5 g core network on the fly. Uh, this API uh, can, use, can be used by NWDAF entity or FlexCN, which is a main component from uh, Mosaic uh, 5G uh, uh, project. Uh, then we are working on uh, on NSSF to provide a full network slicing solution and improve the time of handling in both IMF and, and SMF. Uh, for the next step, we plan to add some more and more features and new components into our existing ecosystem. So step by step to have a full standalone 5G core implementation. Uh, for example, we plan to bring some uh, more network functions such as NEF uh udsf and uh, and and that did that at the end of uh, 2021 uh, section and service continuity uh, redundant transmission for supporting ultra reliable low latency communication for the first uh, quarter of 2022 and uh, finally he uh, oh, okay uh, and finally you can uh, you can see here some uh, uh, a very useful link, for example, the link uh, to the project website, the code uh, repository, the video for the tutorial, and, and the mailing list as well. Uh, so that uh, we conclude the presentation and we will be happy to answer the, the questions.